Yeah, so unfortunately, Roblox can no longer be played on Linux. The way that it was done before was being able to run Roblox through Wine and a lovely project called the Grape Juice Project, which was responsible for taking care of a lot of ropes behind the scenes to get Roblox to cooperate with Linux. It was a benefit for both sides. Roblox was able to benefit because they didn't need to spend the time and money adding native support for Linux, while the players benefited because they would still be able to play Roblox, even if they were willing to take a few minutes to set everything up. That was until the anti-cheat attacked. I saw this coming for months, which is why I held off my Roblox on Linux 2023 edition video, seeing that if implementing the anti-cheat was going to affect compatibility. Before we continue, let me acknowledge something here. Adding anti-cheat to Roblox is not a bad thing at all. Roblox has desperately needed anti-cheat for years now. Sure, enforcing filtering enabled across all Roblox experiences has stopped some of the most egregious forms of exploiting, but even when making server-side and exploiting practically impossible, there are still many client-side methods that could still ruin a good experience. In fact, there are some games that I don't even play anymore because when I join a random server, some script kitty who decided to pay five to 10 bucks a month for exploiting software decides to run freely distributed scripts that make everyone miserable. Even if the anti-cheat manages to make half of these exploiters disappear, it is a win-win for players across the board. I see why Roblox invested millions into acquiring this company and why they spent so much time wanting to implement this. The most frustrating thing about this is that there was little to no notice given about why no longer being supported. And this was a deliberate decision made by the team when implementing Bifron. It just comes to show that Roblox did not take a chunk of their honest players into consideration when making this change. If you are a Linux gamer, you know that the number one reason why we are not able to play most multiplayer titles is because of anti-cheat. It's not that Wine or Proton are technologically incapable of running these titles, it's just that most of the anti-cheats on them decide to give the middle finger by deliberately breaking Wine or Proton. The only time when that has changed is when the Steam Deck came out, which managed to get a few anti-cheat solutions to listen, such as Easy Anti-Cheat and BattleEye, who make it pretty easy for developers to enable Proton support. And as someone who owns a Steam Deck, this thing is absolute wonders. It may not have the full power of a PC, but it's good enough to where I could still get a fun experience out of it. But enough of me preaching to Gabe Newell here. There are two ways that I can see Roblox going forward that will re-enable Linux support. The anti-cheat is here to stay and it's not going anywhere. However, similar to other anti-cheats, Bifron could adjust their anti-cheat so that it could support Proton or Wine. It isn't going to work in the flip of a switch like easy anti-cheats, but with a bit of tinkering, I can foresee Bifron adding support for either Wine or Proton. And this is the more feasible option that I think Roblox is more likely to take. However, the other way that Linux can resolve this, and this is a much more long-term solution, is to make a native Linux client. Now, let me just say, this suggestion has been around for a long time. In fact, Roblox has been aware of making a Linux client for over a decade. Take it from former Roblox employee John Shedlitsky, who said back in 2012, we're probably 97% of the way to a Linux port, now that we've all the work necessary to port Roblox to Mac OS, which, as you probably know, is based on the Unix kernel. I think the problem that we would likely run into on Linux is poor video driver support. I've heard horror stories from other developers. However, as Linux becomes more popular, I expect this hurdle to disappear. And this hurdle has long since disappeared. AMD and Intel's contributions to the Mesa graphics drivers are smooth, and you won't be running into many issues with them. And as much as the Linux community likes to dunk on NVIDIA, their proprietary drivers can handle almost any game that comes their way. In fact, Linux overcame some of their biggest hurdles over the past 10 years. Back in 2012, Wine absolutely sucked. 
as it failed on many different games and programs. However, because of the assistance it gets from Valve and Code Weavers through Proton, Wine can now handle most games and programs confidently, sometimes even beating Windows. Over the past few years, a new display protocol Wayland has been slowly overtaking X11 as the de facto display protocol, and we're almost at a point where it is feature parity with Xorg. In fact, Wine will have native Wayland support later this year. In an even shorter amount of time, a new audio manager Pipewire managed to bring together various different audio protocols such as Alta, Pulse Audio, Jack, and others so that they can cooperatively work with each other. The folks behind desktop environments such as KDE, GNOME, XFCE, and other desktop environments have made significant strides on their environments to make them feature rich and give people plenty of options to choose from. There is a broad range of devices that can be supported under Linux, from new computers to your old and dusty laptop from 10 years ago. This even includes the Asahi team making great strides on bringing Linux support to Apple's proprietary M series of CPUs. Now, I will admit, Linux isn't perfect and it still has its shortcomings, but it has matured so much over the past several years where people won't stop shutting up about when the year the Linux desktop will arrive, to the point where it's as much of a meme as Arch Linux users. Another quote Chedlitsky said that really interests me is this one. We could spend six months porting Roblox to Linux, or we could deliver other highly requested features. If we're going to be porting Roblox to another platform, Android is definitely next in line. Consoles are a close second. Maybe that would involve a Linux port, particularly if SteamOS takes off. I think that's all I need to say here. But the reason why Roblox continues to justify not supporting Linux is because there's not enough players to justify the support. And this is something that they've been saying for years. Will there be support for Linux? So the answer is no. Um, I mean, this question gets asked every year and every year the situation doesn't change. It's not as much of a sort of really hard technical problem to do a Linux port. Our servers now run on Linux because Linux is the platform. And every time, I believe from the product side, people can correct me on this, I think every time we look at metrics, we look at, okay, is it worth the effort to do that versus anything else we could be doing? Um, I've also heard from a lot of people on the general game development side outside of Roblox, where the ratio between kind of the support requests and the amount of people using it is the highest, just because of a very high fragmentation. And so it just feels like a lot of investment for comparatively a little gain. And if at some point, you know, Linux becomes the platform of choice for gamers, awesome, we'll be there. However, from 2015 to 2021, Roblox was unsupported on Linux. The reason why a lot of people don't jump to Linux is because Linux is deliberately shut out from a lot of software. This is why Wine and Proton exist. They offer a great intermediate solution for people who want to run software on Linux, yet the developers don't have the time or resources to be able to get their programs cross-compatible or gauge if there's enough interest to consider native support. If it were for Wine support, how would Roblox properly gauge how many of their players are on Linux? And considering the amount of views my Linux tutorials get, even if that resembled a fraction of the Linux player base, that's still a pretty good chunk of people right there. It may not compare to the millions of Windows and mobile users, but those numbers aren't easy to ignore. Considering macOS derives from Unix, as Shedlitsky put it, a lot of the work is pretty much done for you, as Linux also derives from Unix. Writing a native client is feasible, but it will certainly take more work than re-enabling wine support. 
Considering Roblox is a billion dollar company, they definitely have the money and resources though to make this happen. Overall, this is a sticky situation. Having anti-cheat is a must, but it is a shame that implementing proper anti-cheat ended up costing honest players the ability to play Roblox, and we're given little to no notice beforehand. We don't know if Roblox will bring back Linux support, and if so, we certainly don't know when. There's a good chance there won't be a 2023 edition of how to play Roblox on Linux, but maybe there will be a 2024 edition. We'll just have to wait and see. This is Game Webcam, and take care.